2 a.m. And, uh, I slept maybe an hour. But I'm pretty excited because, uh, what we're doing today has been in the works for eight months. Eight months. Sometimes y'all don't understand how much work goes into this, how much planning. Everything's got to be right for it to work. What we're going to do today is going to be lit. You'll see. these jet boats is that they draw like no water so it takes you into some really shallow areas the sketchy thing is you got to be doing like about 30 got to be doing 30 any slower than that and you can hit but it also means that you're in 30 miles an hour in some pretty sketchy water It looks like a four pounder. Just missed one. Damn. That's alright, raw swinging. Oh no. No, I still got him. Ooh! Swings are free! <laughs> Round here. Look out, Em. Coming up. Whoa! Man. I got that whole thing. Boy, do I have a river for you. Holy crap! Oh, yeah! Look at that. Musky. Musky? My Get first musky, yeah, I got it on the go. That thing was crazy. I wonder if the GoPro got that. Oh That's my god. One. That's a good one. Oh! Right down. God! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's awesome. John traveled like three different states and hours to catch a musky. Go! 
god. That is awesome. <laughs> oh man. gonna get one right here. <laughs> That's what I want. Right in that eddy. There's gonna be at least one in there. Or at least swim baits. Swim baits for days in that bag. So listen. If you don't think that we're fishing shallow water, that right there is all you need. I mean, that's pretty skinny. So, update, it's about uh, lunchtime. I'm guessing probably around one o'clock, noon, one o'clock. Uh, caught them pretty good in the morning on top water. And now that the top water bite's over, it's, uh, we're grinding a little bit, but the water's low and whenever the water's low, the fish get scattered and they could be anywhere and that's what makes it tough. If the water were up a foot, these fish would be pinned to the banks and to the, all these rocks that you see here, and it would be very easy to target them. You could basically like call your shot with like every single little eddy and little rock or you know point that came out. There'd be a fish, there'd be a fish, there'd be a fish. So, but we're still catching good fish. We're still grinding them out and- uh, And Texas girl is still in sweatpants and a hoodie. She's whacked. What's up? It's Jim Root, Dan Blackert, Fisherman Central. How you guys doing today? So uh, we just went out on a little lake here in Ohio and uh, caught us a good one on top water and wanted to tell you guys about it. It's uh, Cavatron buzz bait. Fall coming around, now is the time you want to be getting your buzz baits and get your top water bite on. This thing will catch them, man. You can get this at uh, FishermanCentral.com. Cavatron buzz bait. There you go, catch them up. We need to stay here, man. There's biggins in here. I know it. You know it too. You know I don't care. You cast over me. What, they took it? Army just showed up and they own like a the whole like Oh man, I just got rocketed in there. Throw it right in there, bro. Got him. Oh, he come off. Golly. 
Yeah, golly. You sound like me. That's what they say in Texas. Golly! It's catchy. Oh man, sketch for days. Please, please, Lord Evanroot. Oh man. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. Coming in hot, Mav. Huh? I said we're coming in hot, Maverick. Whew. Soon as somebody hooks up, we gotta grab the stick. Oh, there's not a camera in it. Oh, I got a giant, giant. Oh, it came off. Oh. Drill one, folks. Yep. Oh my god, big, 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 giant. Get the stick, M. I can't, I'm hooked up too. Oh, me too. No, I'll pull it out. Don't worry about me. I just, I don't want to mess up her fish any more than I already have. Go on, kiss her. Go on, go on, kiss her. Got him that time. Screaming. Absolute psycho. Coming aboard. My dad would probably want to mount that. All right, well, that's a wrap for today. Uh, definitely one of the best trips on the Susquehanna I've ever had. One of the best smallmouth trips I've ever had. Huge thanks to Mike and Derek from Susky Native for putting us on some big fish. Uh, the Sus is beautiful. You gotta be careful out there. It's, uh, it's definitely not the place that you wanna go if you're not familiar with it. But don't forget to check out suskynative.com. Huge thanks to Em. I'm gonna miss her when she's gone. Probably our last trip together for a while, but uh, it's all right. We'll be coming at you again soon this fall. Texas, y'all. Check it. <laughs>